Well, I suppose this is another theory we've had here on the channel that is now getting more backing thanks to the director of Loki confirming a long-standing theory since that finale. And that's that, yes, the Sacred Timeline is branching into the multiverse, but also the multiverse branching is rebranching back into the main timeline and continuity, meaning that everything that's happening in the multiverse is finding its way back into the main continuity, which means that nothing is as it seems from this point moving on forward. So this quote comes from a recent interview with Loki's director, Kate Harum from Murphy's Multiverse. And she said, and I quote, so there's the branches, right? Which is like an alternative reality, but there's something you'll see. It's very subtle, but it's the very last shot when you see the multiverse. There's like basically other bigger physical timeline branches. So it's almost like those separate trees are now connecting, end quote. So here is the sacred timeline as it started to veer off into these different multiverse and trees, as they're called here. And those start to grow their own branches. Now, if you look at it in the last scene when it's a... Uh, well, when it's in full effect, if you will, notice how these trees and lines are now sort of just converging upon one another and they're swinging back around to the timeline and making a giant mess. This is confirming that branching timelines, let's say you have timeline A, we'll call that the sacred timeline, and B is the first giant branch off that's spanning its own, you know, uh, like tree roots and everything that's branching off into more. Well, as timeline B splits off into its own timeline C and D, D is finding a way back to come back into timeline A, that B disconnected out of. So branching elements of the timeline are connecting now to the new timeline and the sacred timeline, which means that the cause and effect of every single timeline is directly finding its way back to connect to the sacred one while that one is also veering off into multiple directions that are also spinning around to different branches so now there is direct cause and effect in something happening in timeline c d e that is directly going to affect everything that happens in timeline a and vice versa so now multiple changes are all happening at the same time everywhere that are affecting one another Effectively meaning that nothing now makes sense and everything is scrambled and everything is all over the place. And if we look at Marvel Studios and how they're approaching introducing multiple things through the multiverse, this just starts to make more sense now if you really think about it. And it paints a picture of how crazy Marvel Studios is going to get with this idea and what you can do. And now it also simplifies bringing in other franchises because now you can just explain the X-Men or if Hugh Jackman shows up as Wolverine, and then you still have a new Wolverine, well, it's branching timeline, multiverse, it just branched back upon itself, and only Wolverine crossed over because he's branching off of whatever happened in X-Men 3. You know, you can explain anything, and it's simple, because, hey, it's branching back upon itself, and I have no doubt that Marvel Studios will explain this in an upcoming project and make it simple. Just like Kang chewing the scenery, literally explaining to us how Kang exists.